Hey everyone, it's Lexi and welcome back to my channel. I am a part-time reseller and I've got a fun DIY tutorial for you today. So let's go. Okay, so um, I'm a huge fan of branding and that's kind of a controversial topic when it comes to reselling. Some people think that it's a total waste of time and money um, and then other people think it's very important. So I've always been on the I think it's important thing. Um, I just think that it looks nice and um, you can create your name for yourself and you don't know where any of your business is going to take you. So like why not just try it out? brand yourself so having said that one of my favorite ways to brand myself was like creating my own logo um which this is the one that I created and I used canva for this and then I got um like this I got printed off of vistaprint I love these because I can write like a little something to people in their packages and they're really cheap like I think they're like two dollars a piece or something I don't know anyway but I used to purchase stickers with that logo on it from Vistaprint as well um and I actually don't have any because I use them all and I was like how is it that I used all of them and never kept like one for myself I don't know but I liked the stickers better than business cards to include in my packages because I felt like they were a bit more practical um I know myself as a shopper if it's a business card um, that I ordered off the Poshmark, I'm probably just gonna throw it away. So, I think it's important to realize things like that. Like, when I first started, I did use business cards, and then as I started purchasing things off of Poshmark and eBay and stuff, I realized that I was just throwing them away. And so, I decided, well, how can I brand myself while still feeling like I'm not wasting my money and being practical? <laughs> So that's when I started doing the stickers. Y'all know I keep all of mine in plastic bags. So I just like plop them outside of the plastic bag or I would use it to hold the tissue paper if I was wrapping them in tissue paper. Or I would um, put the sticker on the outside of the actual like shipping package, like box, whatever, right? So I started doing that. And the way I made it work, like money-wise, was that I would only purchase the labels through this to print whenever they were, I'm sorry, my kid's over there. Whenever they were like 40, 50, 60% off. So I was getting a good deal and um, yeah, I had all my stickers. I loved my stickers. So fast forward to me completely running out after um, I think my last order was like 400. I ran out completely, went to order more. There was no sale going on and it was stupid expensive. Um, and I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do something that I've been wanting to do that I actually purchased stuff to do, but never did. And now I'm like addicted and I'm gonna get you addicted too. Okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, also I didn't even think about mentioning this earlier, but you do have to have a thermal printer for this to work the way I'm doing it. You can, however, print your own on a conventional printer as well but I'm using a thermal printer. It was an investment for me in my business. I set a goal. When I achieved that goal, I purchased myself a printer and I am so happy. It is so worth the money and especially now that I'm using it for this, so worth it. So, my thermal printer, I now make my own thank you cards. I mean stickers, thank you stickers. Um, and I love them and I make several other things for my reselling business um really for my life with my thermal printer and these exact stickers so let me just show you all right so i have a rollo i love the rollo i chose the rollo because there were more positive reviews on the rollo from people i knew than the dymo but this could work for your dymo as well it would just be different setup so i'm going to show you how to set it up for your rollo but if you have a dymo I'm sure that you can Google it or someone can help you set it up. So, I bought these stickers um, off of Amazon and they have lots of different colors. So now I, now I really want different colors because I use them for so many things now. But I like purchased the green first. Um, I don't even remember how much. I'll like put on here um, when I'm editing 
how much I paid and how much this is, but awesome. And like as, in case you don't know, thermal printers don't use ink. It uses heat, so all you have to do is buy the labels. You don't have to buy ink for it. Something that kept me from doing this for way too long is that I didn't know how easy it is to change over the labels, okay? So I'm gonna show you how. So all you gotta do is use your little side button here to open it up, like so. And then if you have your white labels for your, lab your um, shipping labels, you're gonna have these little blue things like stretched out, right, to fit it. So all you do is you put your new labels you want and you're gonna squeeze that together to um, fit, see, now it fits. And you push it through, you make sure that this roller can catch one it up let it blink a little bit and all you're gonna hold this down until you hear a beep okay and that is your printer recognizing a new label and when it does that and turns green it is ready and set up for whatever label you want to use like these so now that's it that is how easy it was to change it out like it took me less than 30 seconds if I wasn't filming myself. Okay, so after you do that, um, I'm going to insert a screen recording of how I actually create the designs on Canva, which is my favorite um, graphics program, editing program, I don't even know what to call it. Um, I use Canva for everything reselling related. I also use it for my mom and the business that we have together. Um, where we host markets and we create advertising and merchandising um, graphics. I use it all on there. I do pay for the like pro Canva, which I think is $12 a month. Totally worth it for what I do. If you only want it for reselling, totally use the free version. It is definitely super, super um, useful still, even though you're not getting all the pro benefits. We pay for pro because we want more access to graphics and stuff that help us with our um, the other business that we run together. But if I was just using it for reselling, and actually prior to this business with my mom, when I was just using it for reselling, I just used the free version. I'm going to insert that and show you how I create it and then like what steps it takes to print them. Um, so, but first I wanted to like show you these right, but I wanted to show you um, the other things that I create for my reselling business with that and like I said I want I really really want to order some um, new colors because I only have the green but it's totally fine right now okay so one of the first one I did is this one and as you can see it says this week and listing sells grow so I have this to put in my planner and at the end of each week I can record how many listings um, um, how many sales I had the gross amount and the profit for that week and um, I'll just show you what it looks like and I have the happy planner and this size sticker fits perfectly anywhere so that's what it looks like in there and then I also created this one which I'm super excited about and I think it's really going to keep me on track for my daily the one I created is more of a daily tracker and so I have a space to write how many listings I did that day how many things were cross-listed how many items were relisted make sure that I do my sell similars on eBay um, and then how many times I post on Insta and TikTok and then if I did my YouTube for the day because of course I'm doing the January jumpstart and I'll show you I have it at the bottom of every day of my happy planner like this and I did use one today this one's ugly because um, I had some printing issues um, just beware that if a sticker comes off when you're printing, make sure it's not stuck on the underside of your Rolo because that's what happened to me. So anyway, um, but I already started here, as you can see. So as you say, I put five, I cross-listed five, I relisted five, and I did myself similar, so everything else hasn't been done yet. So anyway, I'm going to, um, cut to the screen recording so that you can see how I do it all. Okay, so this is Canva. This is what it looks like. Um, and we're going to start with going to create a design. And I do custom size. Make sure that you're in inches. And then you have to choose 
your size. So if you want these same labels, which are 2.25 by 1.25, if you want them portrait size, portrait style or whatever, then you do 1.25 by 2.25, and then 2.25 by 1.25 if you want it landscape. So that's going to create a blank label. And from here, you choose what you want to put on there. There is lots of options here. You go to text, you can create your own, or use some that they provide, and you just change out the wording. And then they have elements, which is where you can find some graphics. I'm just going to type in clothing since this is about reselling. And if you wanted to pick some kind of clothing related graphic to put on there, there are tons. <laughs> Canva really has a lot of options and a lot of what I just showed you are free. You can also upload your own media, which is how you could get your own logo on there if you created your own logo or someone else created it for you. So this is what it looks like once I have downloaded it and I am going to print this. So I'm going to go to file print and from here to print it properly, make sure that you're selecting the right printer. So I'm going to select my thermal printer and then I'm going to change the paper size to whatever size your stickers are. Mine are 2.25 by 1.25. So there it is. And then you can decide how many copies you want. You can use the arrow keys or of course type it in. And then you're ready to go and you just press print. Okay, for these portrait ones, in all honesty, I'm not sure if you have to change it from portrait to landscape, but I'm so afraid that it's not going to print right. I always click the landscape and it has been printing correctly. It might not be a step you need to take, but it's a step that I take and I haven't tried it the other way yet. So there you go. All right, you guys. So honestly, the ideas are endless when it comes to using your thermal printer. For other parts of your business, um, your reselling business, whatever you're doing, because um, this is definitely not just reselling related. This can definitely be other parts of your life. What I liked about it is that I could customize it. I love my happy planner. I um, I love using stickers and I love visuals and I'm a huge list maker. Um, but I also like it to be customizable and customize things to my life. So like. If you do um, the daily checklist, like I made one, you know, you might not put um, sell sims on there because you might not have eBay or you might add other things and you can really make it fit in your daily life and schedule and what you want to get accomplished every day or every week or every month or whatever. Um, and then of course there are different size labels there, <laughs> circular labels. Anyway, I hope that this video helped. Um, give you some ideas of what you could do with your thermal printer um, to stay more organized and to save some money because I'm telling you um, the amount of money that I'm saving creating stickers on there versus create buying them from Vistaprint is insane I do miss my little dog in person for my logo but I might try to see what they look like on the thermal printer I just haven't yet um, you know because it prints only black but I'm gonna try it out because I'm obsessed so please comment below what you think um if you have any ideas for other ways that I could use my thermal printer or other things that I could put in my planner for reselling I would love to hear um and give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow for the next day in uh, my January jumpstart bye